Hey guys, this is Mike with Budget Tech Reviews, and today I'm going to get a small video of uh, what's new on Android 4.3 uh, Jelly Bean. I just updated my uh, phone uh, via OTA update uh, uh, a couple days ago, actually, already. And I've been many, meaning to get a video <coughs> about the changes. Uh, uh, and one thing that, uh, and let's take a look here, and we'll go straight to my text messaging here. Uh, as you can see, there, uh, the first thing that I want to tell you guys is that they changed uh, in Android in Android 4.3 is the keyboard, and well, not not th this keyboard specifically, but you can they actually add an emoji keyboard. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get <coughs> a good view of that. But yeah, you can. Uh, those are just my recent ones that I've used, but they added. A, emoji keyboard where you can just like whatever and as you can see there let's see if I can it's a little bright but anyways yeah pretty much it's just an emoji keyboard and I didn't really see the point of that because uh, basically you can download a, like another emoji keyboard off the the app store if you, or if you have that option if you guys have Google Play and all that so uh, another thing that they added, and one feature that they added, uh, from what I was from 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 what I read up on, was uh, Bluetooth 4.0, <coughs> and it's actually supposed to be like an energy saver. So I, I'm not I don't use Bluetooth that much, so I don't, and I couldn't even tell you uh, this one actually did update to Bluetooth 4.0 because I don't I couldn't tell you, but. It's supposed to save a lot of uh, battery life when you're using it, so that's another thing. Uh, another thing that they changed is uh, the camera app. Uh, and before, it would be a little harder to use, I guess. And let me see if I can give you guys an example. Pretty much, like, all you have to do is, like, tap your finger here, and you can change little settings here. So if I want to change it to the front-facing camera, and you'll see me there. I am not wearing a shirt, guys. So don't be looking at me, but yeah, you can change little things like uh, you can change it from HDR just from a just kind of from a finger swipe gesture there. And oh, I don't want to turn HDR on. Well, let's see if I did. Nope, I don't want to turn that on. Turn that off. But basically, yeah, it's just a little easier. Apparently, the transitions, the transitions from here to here, are supposed to be instantaneous, I guess, or it's, they're supposed to be a little quicker. So I'm not too sure what the difference there is exactly, but that's the camera. Um, let's see what else. Uh, apparently, Android 4.3, and if you guys don't know what phone this is, by the way, it's my Nexus 4. I know I do a lot of prepaid videos, but this is my main phone. Um, Android 4.3 is supposed to have be a battery saver, basically. It's supposed to to save battery but to be honest I've been using it for a few days already and it had I, I honestly don't see a difference in battery life whatsoever and maybe I should have uh, factory re I should have factory reset it before updating it to Android 4.3 a lot of people had suggested that actually but I just went ahead and did the OTA update without resetting the phone itself so uh, another thing that uh, everyone says or uh, according to this, it's supposed the the phone is supposed to be a lot s faster and smoother. Uh, I ran a benchmark uh, on it the other day, and it seems to have the same score on Quadrant Standard. Came out to about 4,500 uh, when this phone should be benchmarking in the 5,000s. I don't know why, but. Uh, it does seem a little snappier. I noticed that the screen transitions, like for the fo for the phones like that, for text messages, things like that, to that extent, they're a lot faster. You can see there, and let me give you an example here. Like, let me just show you how how fast that is, how fast I'm moving my finger. I I, I don't even know if that can keep up, but uh, it's super smooth as far as screen transitions go and animations wise. Also, you can see how fast. It went from there when I just press home to there, so so uh, that was uh, uh, one thing that I noticed about the update that it seemed a lot smoother. 
uh, it's like uh, Project Butter Revisited or something like that. But yeah, guys, that, that's just a small video on what what uh, is updated on Android 4.3. Uh, sorry if I left anything out, I think. Uh, but uh, there's probably a bunch of other videos on YouTube that you can go look at. So that's just uh, from what I experienced here. And I guess, you know, thanks for watching, guys. Please uh, subscribe and... And and hopefully I can get another video up on a new phone very soon. So uh, I actually want to work on a Windows phone. So uh, hopefully within a month or two I can get my hands on the Nokia Lumia 521, which is only like a hundred bucks. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.